Texture is an element of art and it is how things feel or appear to feel. And actual texture is how something feels. So I have a cheese grater here and can feel the texture on that. An implied texture is how something appears to feel. So if we are working in sculpture or three-dimensional mediums, we can build up the surface so that it has actual texture. Sometimes you can do that with paint also. Um, but if we're drawing, we're creating implied texture. So we are trying to use value and line to replicate how it looks like something feels. So in this activity, we're going to first explore actual textures around our house. And the first thing I'm going to do is go around and you can either gather actual items to draw from, or if you don't want to rearrange your house, you can use your phone um, or a camera to take pictures of different textures uh, that you find around your house. It is important when you're taking the photos to make sure that you're taking a photo of the texture and not the entire item. Uh, a cheese grater is not a texture. Cheese grater has a texture and this texture is bumpy or rough um, or sharp. So we want to think about taking nice close photos so that we can really focus on what the texture is rather than the object. Once you've found a good variety of textures, we're going to take a closer look at them so that we can draw them. And when I say a good variety of textures, you don't want to have um, all textures that are hairy or all textures that are rough. So try to have a little bit of variety. Um, take, a, take a bunch of photos or find a bunch of objects to look at and then decide which ones you're going to draw. So in today's activity, I'm just going to be drawing six different textures and I've divided my paper so that I can do a different texture in each block. The next thing I'm going to do is look at the photos that I've taken from around my house and write the name of the texture that each of those items has. So even though it is a leaf uh, photo or it could be a leaf photo, the texture might be veiny. So um, think about how the actual texture um, would be named, not the name of the object. I've taken my six photos that have the texture of veiny, woven, rough, fuzzy, hairy, and bumpy. And I'm going to be looking at those photos while I'm drawing. So here's my um, computer screen right here. But I'm going to um, just be focusing on the drawing in the video. The drawing materials that I'm going to be using are a pencil. I also have a drawing pencil here. Um, drawing pencils are nice because they can achieve a little bit darker of a value um, because they have softer lead, but you could also just use a number two pencil. I also have a uh, cotton swab Q-tip. That can be useful when it comes to blend blending, but you could also use a small piece of paper towel. You also wanna make sure that your pencil has an eraser, that you also have an eraser because sometimes you can highlight out some of the values to increase the depth of the texture.
enjoyed my video on texture, this is a good exercise to get you thinking about textures and how to draw them using values.